Hey guys, I'm Candace Pelletier and I am so excited to be your exclusive swimwear provider for this year. One of the reasons I started this brand is because there really is a difference between a beach suit and a stage suit. So you can rest assured your suit will be double lined and withstand those bright lights on stage. We have special features like nickel free clasps so you can avoid those plastic clasps that break right before you run on. We have an adjustable strap, there's lining in the cups where you can put padding and you're gonna have support. So we really tried to come up with all these things to make your life easy on stage. Your state directors have already helped choose your color and style, so now the decision is up to you. We've designed this video to really help walk you through sizing and give you some tips on how to properly wear your Candace Pelletier swimwear. Hello everyone, we're gonna talk measuring today. When you are on stage and you have about a half a yard of fabric on, it is so important that you get these measurements correctly because they really do count. So I'm gonna walk you through the proper way to measure. You can find our size charts on CandacePelletier.com and they are really true to our swimsuits, so we really recommend that you look at those. Today we're gonna to be doing two measurements. It's gonna be across the bust and across the booty. And to help me with this, I have the lovely Catherine. Catherine, come on over. So Catherine, will you just raise your arms for me? Sure. You're gonna stand up nice and straight with your feet together. And really when you're measuring, you wanna go across the fullest part of the bust. Sometimes people tend to let the measuring tape fall down or up in a certain part, so make sure it's really parallel to the floor and it's taut across her. She's about a 35 and a half. And what cup size are you, Calvin? B. She's a B. So you're gonna look on the chart where they come together. She would be a size medium. Now if you feel like you're on the cusp, go ahead and bump it up a size. And if you have a full bust, bump it up a size. Also, if you want a pad, you want to bump it up a size. Now let's talk about the bottom. So you want to make sure that you're standing nicely, feet are together. You're going to measure across the widest part of the booty, right above the hips, and keeping this measurement pretty taut here. She measures in about 37 and a quarter. Now what size jeans are you having? Four. A four. So you're going to take four and 37 on the size chart. You find that measurement and she fits nicely into a size small. If you feel like you're on the cusp here, go ahead and go down a size in our bottom. You've got your measurements, you've got your suit, now let's fit it properly, ladies. So, once you get that, I want to go through some of the common mistakes that people are making when wearing and putting on their swimsuits. Starting with the top, you want to go ahead and make sure that you have, there's an adjuster right here. You can adjust this to your length where it feels comfortable. Oftentimes we're finding it's pretty tight just to keep everything really secure and in place. And if you turn around, sometimes we're noticing that the clasp is way down here, meaning the whole panel at the back is drooping. And what this is doing is cutting off her torso length and also it could be a fit issue. So if that's happening, go ahead and put it back where it's supposed to be. And if you need to take it in to avoid that, that might be something you can do. It's easy fix at the tailor. And then the bottom, since we're on the back side already, going ahead and pulling this down and creating that nice scoop in the back is the effect that we want to have. A lot of times people want to cover their entire back and it's creating this diapering effect on stage and it's making your bottom look bigger than it actually is. So the moderate coverage with a little bit of cheek is kind of the best way to do this. And then you'll turn back around, Catherine. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, one of the things we've been seeing this year is a baggy crotch. And nobody wants a baggy crotch, you know? Um, <laughs> and I think what's happening is when you put your butt glue on, you're pulling it so tight that the extra fabric is coming around to the front. Yeah, and it's creating this. So be careful with that. Go ahead and place the front how you want it and then butt glue the back. Those are our tips for looking fabulous in a swimsuit. I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Check out our website at candicepelletier.com and best of luck preparing for states. Mm -hmm.